Hey everybody. So we're going to be using the oil pastels that you got in the bag that you received at Beep and Greet. You should have a red, a blue, and a yellow. If they're not perfectly red or perfectly blue or perfectly yellow, that is okay. They will still probably work. Um, Mrs. Savory's yellow is kind of like this dark gold color. It still works for what we're going to do. And we're going to be creating some fall scratch board drawings. So um, we're going to be mixing colors on our paper um, using your knowledge of primary and secondary colors. And then we're going to also be using a popsicle stick from your bag to scratch away from our mixed color on our paper um, and turning it into a fun fall picture. So if you notice, these pictures are very, very, very small. Okay, you're gonna want to use a very small piece of paper. And if you have like thicker pieces of paper, I recommend using that. Um, if you just have normal notebook paper, that totally works too. You're also going to want to work in a place um, where it can get a little bit messy. Um, so if you have like a kitchen counter or um, a cookie tray that you could uh, work on, we're going to be kind of creating like these little oil pastel boogers is what I call them, which sounds kind of gross, but they are kind of gross. And um, they are kind of sticky and they might get stuck to the surface that you're working on. Um, if you just take a wet cloth with a little bit of soap on it, it comes right off. Um, so nothing too crazy in terms of cleanup, but make sure you're working in a place that is not like the carpet or your couch because you're going to get these little oil pastel boogers and you can, if you're sitting on fabric or like the carpet, these get ground in there. So do not sit there. Make sure you're sitting at a place where these little boogers aren't going to ruin um, the surface you're sitting on. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Okay, so we're going to be starting our little drawing um, on our small piece of paper, and we're going to use our oil pastels to create orange. So the first color I'd like you to grab is your yellow, and you do need your oil pastels for this. Crayons are not going to work. So if you can't find your bag of um, oil pastels and stuff from Beep and Greet, please message me on Seesaw and I can set some oil pastels outside for you to pick up at school. So I'm going to put a layer of yellow on here. And I'm not pressing super hard and you can still kind of see through my paper. Then to make orange, what color do I need? red. You're right. So I'm going to take my red and I'm going to color on here kind of lightly and you'll start to see the red and the yellow mix a little bit to create orange. And then I'm going to add a little bit more yellow because it got really red really fast. Red is a much darker color than yellow, so it always tries to boss the yellow around and turn the color they're trying to make into red. All right, so there is my orange base. i try to fill in a little bit more of these white spots here. There we go. So there's my orange base. This is our base color. Okay, so now we're going to cover up this base color with our blue. And as you're coloring with blue on top of your orange, I want you to observe or watch the color that it creates. So what color are you watching it create? I'm seeing some green because of that yellow that we just put on our paper. And if that doesn't show up on your screen, the color on the camera that I'm using isn't super great, but it's the camera that I have. So um, I'm going to take this green color and I think I'm going to add a little bit more red because I'm wondering if since I just put blue on my paper, I wonder if the blue will mix with the red to create. What do these two colors mix to make? Purple. Purple, purple. So let's see. Let's mix this up and see what happens. 
So I don't see any purple yet. Color these corners here. And as you're doing this, you might be thinking, oh, Miss Savory is coloring really fast, so I should color really fast too. Mrs. Savory is a artist and a teacher and I practice coloring all of the time. That's why it looks like I'm going fast. I want you to take your time and make sure you're covering up as much of your paper as you can. So I'm adding a little bit more blue on top of my red to see if I get that purple color. We're just kind of experimenting here. So now I've got kind of a grayish purple. Now, once you've got your paper covered up, and it's kind of like a grayish, maybe a purplish color, then you're gonna take your popsicle stick and we are going to draw on here, okay? And we're going to draw a pumpkin, okay? So I want you to follow along with me while we draw together, okay? So the first part of the pumpkin I'm gonna draw, I'm not even gonna draw a circle for the pumpkin. We're gonna draw the individual segments of the pumpkin. So do you see how this is a segment? And then the dark spot that I left, that's like the, um, the crease or like the fold looking part of the pumpkin. And then there's another segment and another fold or the dent part of the pumpkin, whatever you wanna call it. So we're going to draw kind of like a sideways football. And drawing with a popsicle stick is super weird. So just try your best and look at that lovely orange that's shining through. And then you're gonna color this in. Isn't that awesome? And when you get these little oil pastel boogers. I just kind of use my fingers to wipe them off. You could even get a paper towel and kind of wipe your stick on the paper towel. Now, once you have this drawn and colored in, then we're gonna draw a curved line that starts at the top of our sideways football. And we're gonna draw it curving around, but we're gonna leave some of this like dark color in here. We're gonna leave it there. And then I'm going to draw another curved line. And what shape does this remind you of? A moon? That's what it reminds me of. All right. So now that you've got that segment of your pumpkin, we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to start at the top of our sideways football and we're gonna draw around a curved line here around our sideways football. And we're gonna leave a little bit of a gap. So there's still some dark color there. And we're gonna draw another line and we're gonna color it in. Really, we're not coloring it in, we're scraping off the top layers of oil pastel. All right, and now we're gonna do two more sections over here. So we're gonna start all the way at the top of our shape. We're gonna draw a curved line going to the bottom like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing. Oopsies, see, Mrs. Avery even made a mistake. I'm gonna draw a curved line out here. So now it's a really skinny looking moon or crescent shape. And we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. All right, I'm gonna kind of dust off the rest of those boogers. And then we need to draw a little stem for our pumpkin. Just like that. I think I might even add a little leaf. And 
And then once you've scraped away where your stem is and where your leaf is, you can use your blue to color your leaf really lightly. Then you can take your yellow and color on top and your leaf will turn green. And then I think I wanna make my stem yellow. So I'm gonna put a little bit of red and then a little bit of blue And purple is the hardest color to make. So it's looking pretty blue. So I'm gonna add some more red and maybe a little bit more blue. There we go. That's looking pretty good. And I could even use my stick. Maybe I'll use like the skinny part of my stick to put little lines in there. There we go. Maybe I could outline my leaf and put a little line in my leaf. Awesome. So now once you've done your pumpkin, you're going to get two more piece of, tiny pieces of paper. And I want you to create your own drawings. But instead of putting orange as the background, I want you to create one background that is green. So I've made my green paper with yellow and blue. And then you're going to try to make another paper purple. Now, I just said purple is the hardest one to make, but here's your trick. You're going to use red, lightly color the whole thing. Do you notice how lightly Mrs. Avery's coloring? Then you're going to lightly color with purple. Or not with purple, you're going to lightly color with blue. Then you're going to lightly color with red again. then you're going to lightly color with blue again. And you'll repeat this until this paper is purple. You'll switch back to red. And then back to blue and so on and so forth until you get a nice purple background. So once you have your green and purple paper, then you're going to color your green paper with your red. Color it all the way in. And then you're going to color your purple with your yellow. And once you have colored your green with your red to cover up the green and your purple with your yellow to cover up the purple, then you can draw whatever you'd like on these two papers with your popsicle stick, okay? I can't wait to see what you come up with. And when you go to take your picture for Seesaw, make sure you have all three of your drawings lined up, okay? Make sure that you um, can see all of them clearly, I recommend taking your picture next to a window. So if you have a window at your home, maybe stand by the window as you're taking this picture. Or you could even walk outside to take a picture of your papers because that's the best way um, for Mrs. Savory to be able to see the colors that you've made. Remember, I can only grade what I can see, okay? So if your picture is really blurry or is really dark and I can't see it, I can't give you credit for all of the wonderful color mixing that you've done. Can't wait to see what you guys make. Have a great week.